We have that bond that we lost a child. It's very painful. Um, our experiences, though, are quite different because in his case, um, he attributes the illness and eventual death of his son to the use of contraceptives. And I shared with him that my experience was actually quite the opposite because, in fact, when I gave birth to my, that was my fourth pregnancy. I had a miscarriage uh, on my second pregnancy. I never used contraceptives at that time. When I gave birth to my third child, I had not used contraceptives and, not, and I was not using when I got pregnant. But my son did have a chromosomal disorder, maybe similar to his son. Um, he also had a heart problem. In the 70s, they did not have the capacity to diagnose it the way they did when my child was born in 2000. Uh, my son had trisomy 13, a hole in his heart, and large kidneys, cleft lip and cleft palate, perceived to be deaf and blind. But it had nothing to do with contraceptives. And in fact, um, after my son died, I could not become pregnant again because I was not emotionally ready to be a mother. I could not bear to be near a child anywhere from 10 meters away from him. I will break down and cry. I can go about my work. I can be a good mother. I was a practicing lawyer, but I could not be a mother to a baby. So I actually took contraceptives then so that I would not get pregnant because I would not be a good mother if I had gotten pregnant again. So this is the other side of a story that is true. And I also raised this during um, one of the interpolations um, a few months ago that many women physically um, cannot get pregnant again because of different medical conditions. It will, uh, it will be a risk to their lives. These are women who need to use contraceptives because kung mabunti sila, they may die and no longer be there to be a mother to their child. In my case, I was not psychologically prepared to be a mother again.